Me, me from the catch, and we got Erica Aaron on the set. What's the deal? Yeah, okay, baby. Yeah, it's cool, baby, because you, what I'm about to do real quick is I'm about to run off camera. I'm going to let y'all do a little quick bond before I come back in here. So, uh, do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, welcome to the Late Night Hype everybody. You know, it's me, Empress, and for love. You know, give us a quick intro. Tell us who you are. Tell us where we can find you on social media. That way, everybody that's tuned in can definitely go get a follow from you. All right, here we go. My name is Erica Aran. You can follow me at Erica Aran on Instagram. <laughs> you can follow me um, on Twitter at the Erica Aran. But it's all Erica Aran. Okay. E R I C A A R A N, just like it sounds, just like it sounds. Hey, what's the business? Right, what type of services we offering? All right, here we go. We sing him. We sing him. We doing some R&B. Come on. Come on, put a late night high. Hey. You know? Just any music Um, we have some, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have some special. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, it was Empress's last it is birthday. Empress's <laughs> birthday. Okay. We're gonna do a quick happy birthday. I'll go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and see. Yeah, show them what you're working with. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. to you. Happy birthday. to you. Happy birthday. to She didn't have that anxiety issue and just actually oh, able yeah. to perform in front of the crowd yeah. so she could do that concert. Yeah. Girl, I want to be your friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm going to get that album for me. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
female wives, you gotta put on for the H. I want to work with me. Mm. I just saw that Cardi B and Meg the Stallion video oh for the first time goodness. the other day. I really like, like it. I love it. I love it. it. Y'all, I love it. I I love so it. how do you feel about them saying Kylie shouldn't be in it? I mean, Kylie looked good. Don't get me wrong. She looked bad as hell. But I mean, I don't know. I don't really care too much. I mean, I my thing is, good. y'all do realize that Kylie I, isn't white. Like, she is a woman of color. So you literally right. have, like, three different women bad of color. women of color. Yeah. So I also think, I mean, I saw a post where somebody was like, so we should have been in this. I mean, I would have loved mm-hmm. to see that. But where? She, but she I, is pretty. Yeah. She uh, is, right. But I wouldn't have. If anything, Beyonce should have been right there. But I mean, I don't think she so, would have associated herself with what? Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe Rihanna. I could have seen it. Maybe not that on the song. Not on the song, but in the video. They would have held it. That is something we could have discussed. I don't even need like, any other female you know, in there. Just like if she would have just been in it, she didn't have to do anything oh. much. But uh, that probably would have made my Just walk. Like, like, just yeah. walk. Come on. I mean, she's still like the she Victoria's don't. Secret. But I mean, no, Kylie did her thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I thought, thought she was beautiful. Show. I loved it. I didn't yeah. think anything. I, was here for, I, I was think here for. some people were just essentially the simple fact of like her when they were she showing all the girls, she had a more longer part. In time time out. out. Yeah. If anything, was I not mistaken? Didn't I see Black China Duck as in the one? <laughs> Was she in there? I don't, I don't, I don't know. even know. I need to no, go back and rewatch that, it. I swear that I'm almost positive because yeah. I'm for sure. Just pay attention to the girls that they flash. If anybody, Just let's question that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let us know. Hey, I, mean, I mean, honestly, the, the background song said there's some hoes in so this house. I, there's I, some I, hoes I, in this house. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, <laughs> Come, wish she gonna get but hey, okay, how do you feel about her music though? Because I, I feel like music? Who, Black China? She's not bad though. I've never heard. No, I did not she know. She did a song with Trippie Red. I didn't. I didn't. I did not I know didn't. Black China had music. I'm sorry. Nigga, I right now, yeah, I'm, I got your back. I feel like she was a love of hip hop. How they be like, hey, I'm always in the studio, but you never right, hear a no, song. You never hear. <laughs> she did a song out with Trippie Red. She did another one with, which was all by herself, and I think she did pretty good like she had the aesthetic for it but her she she had like that singing rapping voice so honestly if that's the case then i feel like that's probably one of the reasons why tiger got with her back in the day because artists she was doing art of trying to even be in music though. but at the same time artists do attract other artists you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. so that could have been one of the reasons why he actually got on her but once once he Mm -hmm. once he realized what she was about he didn't really try to develop her yeah. Makes sense. I could see what you're saying. Cause I mean, he did get with Kylie, and there was a rumor like, oh, she wanted to sing, and that's why she was on tour with him when quote, she wasn't quote. of age. <laughs> yeah. you know, I like Kylie. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I plead defense on anything I say right now. But yeah, yeah it's just like maybe you're right. Uh, I mean, and that's why. Okay, so should we? So when people who, when we first get put on with artists. They're not. We don't know their talents yet, but all of a sudden they want to do music. Why is why is the culture so quick to be like, you're just trying to hop on with everybody else to do it? If what you're saying is true, should should everybody just get a pass? Is everyone meant to do music? That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm gonna let the guest speak on that first. <laughs> I'm a cool believing God said, you are called to do music. Everybody mm-hmm. is not supposed to be not for real. Yes. Everybody can do music. Mm-hmm. No. Come on. So how do you, you feel know, about anybody that does write their own music <laughs> versus people who do write their own music? Yes, say that one more time. So how so like you said, some people are meant to do it. So mm-hmm. how do you feel about people who have like ghostwriters and things like Because entertainment is just um, important. No, in the innocence of that. I mean, because there are people that have the ability to Mm-hmm. But they yeah, right can't there. really write. So should they get so the what, props? Not to say that they can't write, but what they write is just not maybe relatable or it's not really yeah something that may fit their image. So they may have a ghostwriter come in or yeah. they may request for someone to re- write for them. And somebody I don't that necessarily think that that has to be I feel I like plus. In, some people yeah. who are good songwriters don't have the ability to perform the music that they songwrite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, 
some of the old greats, they took some of the songs from other songwriters like Michael Jackson uh, and so forth and so on. True. Uh, but for example, a person that came out as first a songwriter but should have stayed a songwriter, even though she a banging, got a banging ass body, is Ashanti. Oh yeah. Really? You she, think she you should she should have stayed? I think she should have stayed a songwriter because when she came out as an artist, all her music sounded the same. Question yeah. though, okay. That's <laughs> true. Man. So and how she do put you put out foolish like seventeen times? Yeah, <laughs> like chopper style, chop chop chop. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you feel about? Because um, I know Kelly Kelly Rowland, I think her name is, wrote a, a few good hits, but she's also a great entertainer. Where should she? Why do you think? I mean, I think that question just. I mean, that statement kind of varies. There are some people that can perform their music, and it yeah. may be. Do you yes, think that's why cool. she's not the it girl right now? Or, Kelly? Yeah, because um, I honestly thought she was going to come in and beat Beyonce for a second. She's kind of like the new buzz. I feel like, I don't think she would be the Beyonce. Yeah, because she like always she just had a good voice. voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, and she performs very well. Yeah. So I don't think that it's like... Um, but Kelly musically mm-hmm. never really identified herself, I feel like. She well, made I feel like good she music, didn't but do like, she didn't really... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel yeah, like she didn't she really didn't, like for people to really grab put herself out people. there enough yeah. for us to be like, oh, okay, Kelly, 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 you. Yeah. Okay, so oh. to R and B. Oh, sorry, not to cut you off, really. No, quick. no, no. But I was gonna say, so how do you feel about Solange's career versus Beyonce? Because <laughs> I feel like, in a sense, don't get me wrong, Beyonce has a beautiful voice. She's a great performer, but do I feel like? Uh, no, not really. I feel like her being the front girl of Destiny's Child always kept her right there. Right. But for Solange, I'm a child because I'm her style is so different, I feel like Beyonce completely masked her career. Because I feel like we slept on Solange. Like, if you go back and under- listen, listen to her albums, she dropped some good ass music. I heard she did have some Like, some great music. Yeah. Miss Erica, how you feel? <clears throat> In regards. I- I think that Solange is very talented. I feel like um, Beyonce put herself out more, or or she was put, good team. She was put out more yeah. than her sister. But I also feel like Solange don't really be tripping about it either. Like she's comfortable in her lane. Like mm-hmm. she knows that my sister's Beyonce and she has this, you know, big thing going on. But I'm Solange, and right. shit, I'm Beyonce's sister, and I got my own shit going on, okay. so I'm good with I can that. See that you know, like, I feel like she's comfortable in herself, so she's not even, like, tripping off of the whole, like, right. my sister I, is Beyonce. Right. Like, I feel like she literally looks at her sister, and it's like, oh, that's mm-hmm. my sister, I'm sick of that. Mm-hmm. I feel like to us. Solange keep Beyonce real down to earth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, she look like she be having serious talk to her sister. Like mm-hmm. a motherfucker. And uh, at the same, <laughs> but at the same, at the same time, like like she says, Solange does has her own lane. So anytime Solange drops something, we all ears. Not to mention, people still slept on the fact that Solange bought Black Planet. No, for real, she you bought, know, a, she uh, Black, bought Planet? Black Planet. Yeah. Black yeah. Planet was an old website before oh. MySpace, yeah. before yeah. Facebook, yeah. and yeah. all that. Black. Before them dating sites, you was on Black Planet. Black Planet, you know what I'm saying? But uh, she came, and it, it was a big like when Black Planet was out. It was a big thing to figure out how to change your background. Come on, you know what I'm saying? Y'all had fallen emojis and stuff. You I'm fit, trying to tell I'm, you, we had some background. Yeah. <laughs> 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 exactly, exactly, you know, exactly, exactly. Right. literally. I'm showing my age, exactly but exactly. you know what I'm saying? I'm kind of scared. Like, I mean, my mom me had one. Hey, no, your mama probably had one. I'm just happy I can say, as a millennial, and I'm happy my children ain't gonna be like, at least my mom didn't have an OnlyFans. So that's not for real. real. Nah, you need to be like, at least my, at least my mama wasn't on back page. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that's the only fans for real. <laughs> that's the only fans. That's the one. Hey. <laughs> Dude, you know what? Hey, for all the players out there that like to pay for pussy, you know they came out with a new back page. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying I'm one of them. I just know about right, them. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> hey, uh, the new thing is Babylon. I'm sick of so the name. So you said a back page is Babylon the, now? Yeah. So they out of line. Oh my my partner came through and he told me about that. He was like, because uh, I needed some girls for my video. 
He was right. like, man, shit, I hit up some girls off of Babylon. I said, what the fuck is Babylon? Okay. He was like, nigga, that's the new back page. I'm like, nigga, tell me right. something. I don't know. He was like, you want two girls kissing in the bathtub? I'm like, uh, See, is this a trick question? She was like, <laughs> Come on, they brought some 10 back a long time what, ago. What, how wop start? How I go again? Who? I forgot. Yeah, how wop start? Yeah. Yeah, there's some holes in this house. There's some holes in this house. I honestly kept seeing, like, the hashtag. I kept seeing everybody talking about it. And it wasn't until later in the day. I was finally like, let me, you know, see. Yeah. Now, dance is life for me. I have dance fever. So if it got a good beat. Throw that ass. Shut up, bitch. Yeah. Throw that ass. Do you ass. think it makes oh. a good reggae music? I feel like Cardi Ooh. makes some dope reggae music. Honestly. She has made, a, I think she has a song with Cartel. She has a, oh, no, she has a song with Conscience. She did like one, oh, two songs here and there. but no, And it wasn't bad. I'll give her that. I like when they good. I like when they, uh. Get on the track with uh, what's the motherfucker? Bad Bunny. The I like bitch. Bad Bunny. Yeah. I don't understand shit they saying, but, but nigga, that's like whole. <laughs> 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 Let's <laughs> go. Let's 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 go. let us go almost ironic not to say ironic just yeah funny it's a lot of people against this song like what? it's people coming out of woodwork oh, talking yeah, about how sure provocative like the song is talking about how cardi is you know how many songs that we have before this song that just at this point let's just go back down the line to Nicki minaj or trina or At this point, y'all can never listen to dance talk. Right. Some <laughs> <laughs> songs are real explicit too. Like, I mean, like, let me get that. Too, too, that beat, beat. beat. Like, like, y'all know what I'm saying? No, talking about next. Ne- oh, the, all that shit was explicit. I but never on, realized that's what he said. But on the cool shit, like, I kind of feel where they coming from because there's a lot of music that is over sexualized, so they feel like they're not getting genuine music, especially when we go, we're still in the midst of. Uh, the COVID or what have you, right. people ain't got nothing else to do besides right. act, like put a magnifying glass on everything. Mm-hmm. I thought you saying a lot of sexual shit. We are gonna have a lot of babies. Right, oh, but, at, the but at the same, oh, same time, you, but at the same time, you have to re, you have to respect the artist for their lane. If you listen to Meg and you listen to Cardi, you know what you're going to get. No, so for real. So them two as a tag team. You should have already known. I was already waiting for the video. Like, I mean, them the Cardi was like, like, I'm waiting. Like, I kind of feel like if, if Cardi wasn't a mom nor Mary, she, her and Megan would have been the female Hugh Hefner. Yeah, yeah, for real. You know what so I'm saying? So question though. Okay, so artists that's in my age group, Miss Mulatto. Do you know who Miss Mulatto is? Right. I've heard of she, I've she never is. heard a bad verse from this girl ever. Ever. But she people say that she's getting overly sexualized. But I feel like, and you know, a lot of girls say, you know, I don't want to rap about this, this, that, and the third. So how do you feel about, like, to me, I'm like, okay, she is going that sexual route, but she still, be, she still but demands that's her respect. Image. She's good. That's her. That's her image. If that's your image, you better be the best, best. hoe yes. you okay. can be. And see my it? thing is, right. if that's you know, your genre, if that's what your lifestyle is about, if that's what exactly. the character you want to portray. I'm saying she, she came up on, do you know what, what it was rap something. See, uh, look, the, yeah, the, she yeah. was a kid, the so it's like show. people watched her grow like, up. You right. see, it's just like Miley Cyrus. Uh, you can't be mad. Girl, you better speak to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Miley freaking Cyrus was not Hannah Montana all this time. Come on. Miley. That is the character. That is the image. That was a check you at know? the end of the day. Disney money? I'm sure you would have had the Mickey Mouse ears. I would have been drawn with that I'm going to be grown And that would have been how I debuted too Because at this you point know. I'm no longer Disney Like yeah. I feel like yeah. that's the catch to it And people don't realize that even if I would hit him with that people, Orlando Brown The blue, 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 blue. <laughs> <laughs> More people that speaking on that 
be made. It's a lot of underground music that don't make it commercially. So you can't even say that it's not enough substance. I mean, you don't know what you're listening to. Oh, right. You don't I'm know sure where to go right. to. Right. So it's like right. for you to focus on what's on the commercial is also underground. You have some people that don't want to go commercial because then you have to kind of taint your image a little right. bit, Kendrick yeah. Lamar. Yeah. So it's yeah. like. Or look at J. Cole. Even like, though he, anytime he drop an album, like every year or two, and it's like, you know what I'm saying? Platinum. Right. He looking at <laughs> going to the NBA. <laughs> They like, like do this? I don't know, yeah, but so but see, what people didn't realize, like J Cole was actually going to school to be a lawyer. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he gonna speak the best speech mm-hmm. on your no, court case. Like this. Somebody like no, J Cole, who he can be secretly the motivational speaker, right? But he can secretly, not to say secretly, but from the where we at. Go double platinum at times. Let you know that it's possible for you to stay in your own lane, whether you in the limelight or in front of the commercial, what's hot right now, and still make your money. So you trying to pick and choose that how the city girls are still surviving? Hey, because people out there ain't have no hot girl song. Loving it, and you know they're living for it. You, I ain't got no job, bitch. I ain't got my job. You know what I mean? Like, right. I love it. I mean, that appeals to those people. Yeah. And for the people who can relate, it's another artist out there for me. So who am I to sit up here and harp on their yeah. music, what they got mm-hmm. coming out? And at the same time, you got to realize, like, the times that we're in. Because any time that we go through, like, any kind of recession, depression, or anything like mm-hmm. that, right. what is the music that gets us through? Dance music. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> and that goes back to the book. Back into the blues era, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So this has always been a, a route for us. So therefore, if you're gonna criticize the type of music that people put out, then motherfucker, go into a rock. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Go exactly. find the old, go back to you the '90s or whatever. The Caribbean. <laughs> so I just don't come because you know, you start the song you. off. I'm telling you, yeah. somebody <laughs> getting daggered. <laughs> 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 Somebody, somebody is bending over, and a nigga out of nowhere is jumping off the oh, top rope. <laughs> I heard that. You can't outwork no Jamaican. That's Hell no, nah, nigga. I, mean, shit. I can't. I, 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 I can't out. I can't, out, give up. I I can't <laughs> out thrust the Jamaican, nigga. What? <laughs> I'm not even. <laughs> 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 I'm just like, no, I'm going. Yeah. I'm just like, no one gonna stop. <laughs> no, okay. Nigga, what? No, you got sometimes. you got a Jamaican in a wheelchair trying to get on. Goddamn it! Upper body strength like a motherfucker. Guinness World Record. For like the longest dance, like not stopping. I feel like if you could just put me in a corner somewhere and just see how long people could go, I'm gonna go. Nigga, like, what? And I'm, I'm gonna keep going. Like I'm I just be so com- like they dance moves is what get me up. It be the steel drums. Cause I feel like they work out every phone and they. Vibe. <laughs> it, be, it be the steel like, drums. No, I'm telling you, you can put. Real. You can put you can put a steel drums behind a depressing ass speech, Actually, and you're gonna get live. Do you have Jamaican knees? <laughs> You mean, oh, yeah, I think that's the first time I've ever actually saw her dance in a music video, which is why. Yeah, no, 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 like actual like choreography. And yeah, I love that's what it. I, I thought was you did really for good. It because it was like even, even though Cardi too, like actually, yeah, yeah, right. Like yeah. seriously, and do really good. Like I mean, like, y'all I forget that Cardi was a stripper. No, and that's yeah, like, yeah. like, that like is a different choreography. Yeah, yeah. I want to see choreography. They do that choreography. But see, like I feel like. This, and that's a, that's what I feel about strippers. There's a difference between a stripper and an entertainer. Right. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. got you got strippers that's hoes, but you got an entertainer right. that's gonna put on that's a show. And then gonna go home and take care of her kids, and then go to school in the morning and exactly. go to work in the afternoon and come back here I'm at night. You. And that's an entertainer. Yeah. You feel me? So Cord- Cardi B could have been an entertainer, right. even though there's right. some footage out there. So I'm not trying right, to demean right. her character. Yeah. That's a hoe. Every time you say He's this, not here for black I'm not. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why do you keep bringing this up? Oh, like, why do you hate I'm not. I'm gonna go do some research. I just didn't know. Yeah. She, I, didn't. I feel like she's coming out more now that she's away from the Kardashian and the Tigers. Like I, I really, really, I really feel like she's up she's good mom. lately. I'm not gonna Ooh. lie. That's uh-huh. why I felt like I identified her in the video because I haven't been keeping up with her. I'm like, yeah. black China, and I was like, Dad, I, I rewind it back a little bit. I said, No, that's actually. Yeah, no, I'm pretty sure that's her in that video. Yeah. She's a very pretty girl. I think business-wise, she's Ain't really good. Ooh. So what, we'll as far as artists life. that are driving <laughs> outside of music and things like that, like, what, who's one of them that you want to have their same work ethic? As far as the artist goes, like, you Beyonce. Know, the same she she said, I'll take it all. Yeah, okay, okay, so let me just explain to y'all my uh, mindset in this whole, like, music thing. 
She's from where I'm from. Right. H town. Where, where I pretty much grew up. I'm not from Thurwood, but I went to Lamar. Mm-hmm. So that's where right I was always <laughs> You know. Um I tell myself like all the time, she pretty much is paving the way for me. Sis is like paving the way. She's waiting mm-hmm. for me to get yeah. there so she could say, girl, mm-hmm. goddamn, what took you so fucking long? <laughs> right. I, I, was waiting waiting time. Time. I was waiting all this time. Uh-huh. Now you're here, I can retire. So you're looking to dance too as well? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. she's trying to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to give y'all a laugh. <laughs> who's your Jay-Z? Who's, who's your Jay-Z? Oh, child. Well, we won't do it. celebrities. We ain't going to get you in trouble in case somebody watches. Um, I don't have a... Your Jay-Z yet? No, I, I mean, I got a, yeah, a situation going on. Oh, uh, she got me entanglement. You beat me to it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Uh, we got so, so, so with that being, ah, uh, you gonna hit us? You, you know, hey, I go ahead. Hey, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Hey, Black people go like this. Y'all, it's not entanglement. He a gentleman or whatever. Oh, whatever. This is the late night hype. And we have a tradition here. Oh, what is that? Hold what on, hold on. What are we doing? We got on this. Nigga, what? <laughs> what are we doing? What is the tradition? They trying to be childish right so now. Oh, we super petty. <laughs> what is your fake sex sound? So guess what, guys? She's going to say we don't have sex. <laughs> I'm actually celibate. <laughs> I, I, Hold up! Do you, I mean, that's cool. That's fine. But I'm pretty sure. Like, my fake sex sound? Yeah, I've yeah. actually never had sex. Is that like something bad? No, that's great if you never had sex. Try to make I'm a convictor and my head tells the truth Come and on. I just be like She said uh, uh, what are you head. what are you doing down there? Stop it. Okay. Cut it out. So Cut have out. you ever had a let bad me, sexual experience? Let me try something. She said she's been pretty Oh so I, 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 yeah. I actually never really had a bad sex experience. Um I I mean it's late night, I guess. I didn't really um pop my cherry when I got my virginity taken okay um it was it, it kind of happened in an accident um on a bike oh man uh, when i was a little girl okay. so <laughs> different experience okay. uh, a lot of blood okay. and a lot of pain um but hey it got popped yeah so <laughs> me losing my virginity wasn't really like everybody else's virginity it's understand. like that <gasps> stop please yeah, yeah i was like dang type of bike. situation it was like nigga that must have been okay, the best this, bike in the world this, 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 <laughs> Like this has already been taken care of, so this actually kind of feels good. Let's keep doing this There's some more okay. kind of situation. So, um, sex kind of got overused for me after yeah. a while. Me I was see. doing it like all day, every day. It's like okay. It was yeah. like okay. What is the meaning of this again? So let me just I stop. Understand. Let me regroup. I like you. So okay. that's, okay. Really, that's, that's what up. we're getting to now. And now, yes. guy, guy here. Yes. We're gonna call him guy. They, guy. Come on, they always got a nickname between friends. We're gonna call him guy because okay. y'all are my friends now. Okay. Guy is being very coherent. He is okay. being very cooperative. Nigga, you better. Getting into the worship with me. Come what? On. He went to church? He's here for it all. Nigga, what? Receive it. That he boy said, hey, in the book of Revelation. Oh, no, we got to see, like, yeah, you know, see what the Lord tell me. Y'all. That boy said in the book of Corinthians, Leviticus. <laughs> <laughs> when I put a ring on your finger, yeah. we're going to be in the book of Numbers. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so do you feel like 
having sex on the first date can ruin the chances of a relationship? No. Nigga, I wish I had a round of applause button right here. Wait, I'm gonna tell y'all why. <laughs> we'll add that in in the video later. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all why. I'm going to tell y'all why. Because I've been that person before. I mean, I can't convict nobody else. I can't point the fingers at nobody else. At the end of the day, I mean, we all went through the whole phase. We all did our thing. We all had that fun. We all, you know, we all been there. So My whole phase lasted a couple of years. You know. <laughs> 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 so who am I to say? You know who am I to point the finger at somebody that decides that that's something that they want to do at the time that they want to do it? Now, I'm not about to do, go and do that anymore because that's right. not where I'm at. But right. you know, if I meet somebody and they're like, "Girl, I'm gonna do this real quick," and it ain't yeah. gonna mean nothing. I mean, girl, do you? And yeah. you better live it up, and you better commit. <laughs> Be the best hoe you can be for that night. What? You better nigga, live you it gonna, up. You might change that nigga whole life. You know, okay. you never know. That might be your husband for real, sis. He might Pretty be woman. Like, sis, you ain't never been. I don't know. I don't know. That ain't my story, but, you know, I don't know. He might. So, I'm, as an artist, I'm pretty sure you've done a couple of shows around here in Houston, right? Right, right, right. Has any... I'm no... Oh, I already know. Hey, <laughs> We with the fuck shit tonight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, so, has there been anybody that has approached you after one of your shows? Oh, no, and no. At, uh, after the approach, have you ever actually corresponded with this person? Like, in a... Like, relational manner? Yeah. Yeah, like... Or oh, no, not really, actually. Um, she, she said, I don't fuck groupies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're like talking about like as somebody like a... Like, like I mean, no, no, not really, not, in, not as an artist or... or just somebody just genuinely at this point approaching you. Um, no. No, not really. Um, I'm not going Do you think that that's possible for you to date a fan? In the situation that I'm in, No. I mean, if, but I if wasn't, it wasn't for if God, if I wasn't in, in in the situation with God, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we make sure guys, right. we don't mean no harm. Right. right? In general, question, right. guys here. If it wasn't for guy, um, I mean, it's up. I would be single at that point yeah. in time. So I mean, if I run into somebody that's interesting, that's right. interested in me and what I do, and I mean, something was to grow, hypothetically speaking. Sure, but you know we got guys, so that's. What do you What do you look for in a partner? <clears throat> or what makes guy such a good guy? Um, genuinity. Oh, uh, genuinity. Loyalty. Make, she, is that a word? Yeah, yeah. I make um, that up. Genuinity. You know, that we'll, 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 we'll make, make up some words that real that cool that and that say it with all confidence. I saw the definition. I was here. I felt. She is the iron cooperate with the fact that I'm celibate? Yeah. Are you going to be okay with it? Are you okay with the way I live my life? I'm an artist. People approach me. People mm -hmm. like the way I look. Right. Is that a problem for you? Mm -hmm. Does it bother you? Do you like the fact that your girl gets attention? Because I like that. The fact that you like I get attention. And right. you're not even bothered. By Come on. Because yes. you're secure in yours. Don't come at me like that because I don't have time for it. Because you're going to be doing it all day long. And I don't have time for it. She's like, I don't need a studio. I got a session. I don't have time for it. I don't have time for you texting me like, you said you was going to be at home at this time. Or yeah. you said mm -hmm. that the studio session was going to be this long. I don't have time for it. All right, so, really to so to go back on what you said, uh, do you feel like money can buy happiness? No. And what do you think are some of the things, I mean, what would you say are some of the things that money can't buy? 
happiness. My love, my heart, my emotions, my mentality, Come on. the conversation. You can't pay me wow, for conversation. Substance. There's no price on substance. You can't. But do you think it is needed in a relationship? Because there was a movie with Marilyn Monroe where she was like, if you're too busy worrying about chasing the money, how can you genuinely... Right. I don't feel like you should make money. You should. I don't. I don't ever think you should put money over your family. If that's the question, I don't ever think that should be the situation. So, Mm -hmm. in music, I will take a sabbatical for a month Mm -hmm. where I just do nothing but hang out with my family. But you know, things like that. Like, I feel like we should dedicate time to those people because. That's necessary. Look that at it like got, this. Money is something that can always be made. There's never exactly. not a time never where not you a can't time make can't be made. some money. Especially there are times husband. for you your know, family. You can miss your family. And I say you this. can miss your kids growing up. You can miss a marriage. You can Hello. Miss con- and yes. I say this because I just lost my mama in March, and my daddy yes. passed away when I was six. So not you know not to change the mood, but. I don't get to have my parents at my mm-hmm. my few, I mean at my marriage and mm-hmm. at my the birth of my first kids and things of this nature. So I want to make sure that I make that I'm time for my kids in such a busy world that I'm creating for back. myself right. because it's not able to be mm-hmm. gotten back. Exactly. I like get I said, some money I'm back. About to have a nephew, I might can lose it. You know, it get stolen from me. But I I'm going to make it. But back. I can get it back. It's yeah. just sometimes you just for real, for real. So I don't believe I'm it. Saying it's the money. Of not course, I believe in a such thing as residual income. So, but right. you always can shout get out. money. You right. want to shout out to the? Uh, oh. No, so I was gonna say to get where you were getting at. Like I get what you're saying as far as like having some type of ambition for yourself. Yes, I want for you to be content with yourself. So, yes, I want you to be able to take care of yourself because at the end of the day, I don't have kids, so I don't know how it is to take care, like, to tell, like, of someone else. Like, I don't know what that is. So, if it's just you, I need for you, before you think about joining yourself with me, to have you straight. Because you coming into a relationship with not everything you need, whether it's happiness, finance, whatever it is, that's gonna be baggage for me. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I should be in addition. You should be in addition to me, not me trying to carry some of your baggage to now get you, that's gonna stall what we're trying to do. We can't be great like that. I feel so it. it's like, yes, it's not to say to make money everything, because again, it's one-off scenarios where I know what it is to not have something, but look where I am now. Right, right, right. So it's like about the ambition. Your hustle shows and your drive shows mm-hmm. every day. Exactly. If you have nothing else, date a guy. Hold on, hold on. Before, make, before we get into that real quick, I just want to give a shout out to Ellie tapping in. She was like, she loved your outfit, Erica. She okay. loves the energy. Of course, she she knows she yeah. ready. She loves the energy that Empress is giving out. You know what I'm saying? She can't see me me from the couch, but she <laughs> loves the voice. But she said uh, her ten things that money can't buy is manners, morals, Come respect, on. character, common sense, trust, patience, class, integrity, and love. Amen. 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 Again, it's no dollar amount on that. You right. Right. That's These are things you cannot pay for. You but if you school. made more money than the guy. Now, in, re- in regards to that, I want to speak on that. With what they I want to speak on that because apparently in our generation right now, girls are, are doing these damn things. We, we, you feel me? We got some shit going on that, you know, yes. not to say that our men are. Hey, I was raised with my mother and my mother got her own wedding business. You know what I mean? Come not on. to say that our men are not doing anything, but it's a lot of females that are, you know, established that are grinding right now. So, I do not think there is an issue, me personally, if your man is at a down point in time right now you got to be able to pick it up when he ain't got it help him out sis but like i said if he's content with the money he's making and so, you bringing him okay again. now i don't know i can't speak on that but if he is trying now what i say is this it depends on what you mean by content do you mean content like he's in his profession of his dreams and he's content with what he's because at that, that point, role, that's different. And I happen to make more money than him, then that's different. And because at that point, like, then we've conversed about right, that. Yeah, and we've had an understanding that but this is what you want to do, this is what I want to do, this is how much you make. 
Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. Because the one thing I say, and we've hinted on this before, is because you always will see a dude take a chick and build her up. Right. It's not rare. I mean, it's not common. common that you see a woman take and now build a dude up. Right. That's, because that's actually appreciative and not a hobo. And section. so that's that's what I'm getting at. Right. A yeah. lot of times, don't get me wrong, we have gold diggers out here. We're not talking about them. You do have genuine women who have ambitions, dreams. They just come from either broken homes, never got the chance, whatever it is, but this right. dude sees that that's a good woman, Lord. Right. I can now build her into her brand with she, that's so different. Right. To now to reverse the roles of you to now find a dude like that these days, it's that like, dude is so you into himself. Very to think that his dick is that good? Yeah. This nigga thinks that I am dickmatized. And that he finna just be all up in my account. We not doing that. <laughs> That's why I feel like you have women now feeling where they end up either turning to either other ethnicities. Sometimes or other turning, women. Uh, oh, you took it out wait, my wait, mouth. Wait, what you mean? Like, because uh, when you get women, I'll accuse myself for example. That God damn it. I mean, I'm pretty, okay? But get it, Empress. It's one of those <laughs> now finding the same match interest. I'll be 34 Saturday. I don't have no kids. Thank you, boo. Wow. I just, <laughs> and so it's one of those where it's like now trying to find a dude that's in his 30s that don't have no kids hmm. that's now taking care of himself. The problem with my situation is most of those men are bitter, so they bachelors. They don't really have the time or day to now deal with me because I'm the one that's quote unquote difficult because I already take care of myself, do whatever it is that I want. My thing is I want your time and consistency. But he's sketchy about giving me the time and consistency because he used to dealing with gold diggers. He used to dealing with all the ones that either he loved the wrong one, now he's scared to step out on love, or it's just one of those Again, I can't be mad at him if he feel like he's like me. I'm so that full of myself. You're going to have to make me come down to make me realize that this is some. Yeah. And it's like I've done it to where I've taken somebody that was a work in progress, trying to work with it. But then it be time that yeah. I can't get back. Yeah. Like, yeah. I have invested. So it's like I've tried to do younger. Hell no. <laughs> I tried it, tried it, tried it, didn't work. Tried it, didn't work. No, 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 I can't speak no, no, on it. I've been no. married before and he was older than me and hell no. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of one of those where it's like no, you no, really have no, to no, find no. your niche. That's why I'm like, it's not, I'm open to it, but am I just out here? No, I mean, no. it would be nice, sure. You fall in my lap. Like, oh, okay, come on. And I mean, it needs to come with like whole facts, car facts, all of them. I need a whole facts. I need a whole facts. I need a whole facts. I need to see your car now, baby. All of it. If I can hear you, I'm not going to see your car. You got to post that nigga on any social media. Is this your nigga? Is this anybody's husband? Is this anybody's boyfriend, baby? Hey, like, because you have so many people, and then I'm almost like a rare gem. So you got people that don't want to be truthful about their situations. Got whole ass families want to get these long ass. Families. I'm very big out here in Houston. I'm gonna say what? that it is. a lot of married men. I just want you to know that's the other country. That's love. Yeah, I mean, you right. You right because I feel like in Ooh. other countries they definitely don't. I mean, women still have the whole family. family back oh, home. Trying to make equality. Nah, oh. nah. Sure. Positive. Apparently they be married and they don't know. I, mean, I ain't got no <laughs> ring on my finger. I ain't got no kids. I'm just asking. Come on, you, you, you feel me? That <laughs> I that I know, know for a fact that I ain't got no kids. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Because I double check. He double check. I double check. Facts. I go Perfect. back. I make <laughs> phone calls. Hey, did I'm such and such. Up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> did you <laughs> say period any time? I haven't seen you in a while. You know what I'm saying? I just want to make. Come visit you this month. I just want to make sure before I get into this next situation that we do we have a kindling situation. You know what I'm saying? Anything that's going You feel me? Because I want to make sure I go into a new relationship with no baggage. I feel like it's unfair to anybody so, I deal with if I bring in baggage. What's just like a deal breaker for you? Cheating. Wow. Mm-hmm. She says she's celibate. Nigga, if you got time to stick your dick in another chick, you can have them. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 that's, and, that, and that's just the truth for me. I don't, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to be upset. I'm not going to look right, right. in a different type of way. You're mm-hmm. a man at the end of the day. And 
uh, apparently you can't control your urges. Men need sex. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he couldn't watch. And he couldn't so find the right flick. You need it that <laughs> bad that you cannot yeah. wait until you feel like you have found the one for you, mm-hmm. honey. You are not the one for, for me. me. For me. <laughs> Like nigga, you should. So you can walk on on. You gonna need an Erica Church because she's saying some things here. Girl, right come on. Right mm, you know what pass I mean? the collection plate. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 It's for the photography. It is. It's <laughs> thing, but listen, I'm just saying, you know. But yeah, no seriously. Uh, if hey. you can, if you, yeah, that's that's definitely a deal breaker. Uh, yeah, I can do it a lot of things, but not cheating. Don't don't go <laughs> messing around. Have you ever caught some like how if you have caught some cheating? Oh shit. Yes. Yeah, so. No. How did you find I out? Have I have not cheated. Man. I ain't. Are you? Are, would you be like the the petty type? Like who? The chick blew up somebody's car. So no, 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 I'm not that person. I do know what you're talking about. That was childish. I'm not that person, y'all. I'm a very peaceful person. Um, she gonna sing her way out. The no. bass track. Uh, like point. nigga. I am gonna she write. She gonna be black Taylor Swift. I am mm-hmm. gonna write my ass about you, but I'm not one of those girls that I've never had a fight a day in my life. I'm not one of that girls cool. that cause confrontation. Pretty I girls hate, really don't fight though. I Good. hate I'm cute because I used to rock some shit when I was younger. I just it took me a while. Okay, <laughs> I hate yeah, confrontation, so <laughs> I try to avoid it as best as possible. So if in the event I'm cheated on, I've not really technically been cheated on and like caught him in the process of Ooh. it happening type of situation, so I can blow up and be like, <laughs> yeah, but. Um, it's kind of happened in like a, not necessarily a situation, guy asked for a break, he didn't want to be with me at the time, whatever mm-hmm. that fucking means, yeah. and he went to his ex, took a picture with her, or she took a picture of him because he fell asleep on her shoulder, uh-huh. and posted it on her Instagram. She did she him. follow you, or did you no, follow her? he reposted it. Oh, So I nigga. saw it. Right? Wow. He was too yeah. comfortable. So he said that yeah. this thing started stretching. I'm going to write your friend for you. Like, how did you supposed to cheat and hide it? And how did you good? But you don't repost it. That's just fucked up. And so I was going to give him the benefit of the doubt because he said that he was drunk, but it left it. it you left it different. Yeah. But you have, to, you have to be sober to repost, though. Come on. That's what I mean. <laughs> that, that was a clear you, decision. Even if you he did drunk. repost drunk, you left it on there for 24 hours. Yeah. You were not drunk for 24 hours. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nigga, by I'm the time, sorry. By the time you wake up, nigga, you might have a headache, but you no longer I drunk. I will get up out of my <laughs> so, you know, that that was some shit that I thought there. I posted. Let me get Bruh. But I never really been in a, a real situation where I like um been cheated on and I was just like, Oh well hmm. this counts in high school. I mean my senior year. You was my prom, you supposed to be my prom day son. Nigga what? <laughs> Let me put my friend, y'all. Damn. They was already together in a whole relationship. But see, that's that's what I'm saying. Like why? Why can't people just be truthful In a situation like that, I didn't even blow up. Like, literally woke. I remember this like it was yesterday. I literally woke up to a long text text message message from her. Damn. Telling me that they were in a relationship. And then I called him and he was like, basically, yeah, like... Shit, I'm sorry. And it that's kills me. Like, after the fact, you're so nonchalant about it. Just, and yeah. I'm just like, yeah. damn, bro, you could have fucking told me, like, you know, I've been planning to go to prom with you and shit. Like, now I got to switch up my whole aura. No, and me. I got to see you at my prom. You didn't even go to my school. Yeah. My friend knows you through me. That's crazy. It'd be so like I got to see that's you at my real. prom. That, that was like that part. It was annoying. A nightmare. And I didn't want to go to prom. My mom was like, no, you should go to prom. Let me get your dress made. You're going to look beautiful. Let's do this. And I was just like, okay, mom. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Uh, and then she just started singing. Made him realize he fucked up. I was just like, this is annoying. Have you ever said <laughs> someone? Absolutely, girl. All the damn time. How do you think I'm so I love it. I feel it. I like it. I love it. He's like, get off of me. Stop singing my ear. <laughs> You need to move. Stop singing in my ear, girl. Man. So, what's the But best? he can sing too, though. So, that's T. Oh, so y'all in there. I'm gonna hit a good wet thing, bitch. Nigga, what? 
Oh, they gonna be singing to each other at the at it's the wedding. Low key, he don't. He don't know you now. Both y'all come in. You start dating somebody, y'all both can sing, and y'all decide to get married. I'm not coming to the wedding. I'm just Damn. Because y'all gonna be in there going note for note. But like, you let me read the vows. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm sure I'm know the vows is better than mine. I gotta do that again. You're gonna be like bridesmaid. Y'all gonna be like, oh, and 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 one more time. Yeah. Like damn, nigga, we've been in here for an hour or two already. Oh, shit. Oh wow, <laughs> it's sweat, it's sweating. Like, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. like I'm ready to go. So, oh. what's actually the best pickup line someone has gotten you or that you've seen? It'll make me. Cause you know she gonna be singing in the club. I mean, we got him. We got him. But we got the guy. Yeah, we got the guy. But the best pickup line, I've I've not really had like one of those. I've had terrible mm. pickup lines. So what was the worst? <laughs> yeah. What was the worst? I, I mean, it, I can give you one from today when I was at the gas station on my way here. They were like, "Hey, Shaw, do you want me to pump your gas?" And I'm, I'm like. Sorry. I'm not even getting gas, sorry. Yeah, you don't back your ass I'm just, Look, I'm just trying to get something. You different. know what? Like, it wasn't a different. pickup line. It was something that was done. Literally. So I went to one of the parties, the dance hall parties, and nine times out of ten, you can't. If y'all don't know, Empress Black loves dance hall. What? <laughs> shit. But you, it'd be dark as shit in there. Like it ain't nothing. That's one smoke. Of the, that's one of the places you gotta DJ wait till the light turned like, on so you can see who was dancing with I'm you. Done with you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they be drinking. That's why they. That's why you need that home girl to look out for you. Like, this nah, bitch, come on. Uh-uh. On the other side of the dance floor, and he flicked his light, his lighter. Huh? But I could. We made eye contact. I'm talking about from the other side of the room, and then I seen the lighter just go away. So I'm back dancing. He done came and walked made all the way around. around. Mm-hmm. That I know was, you see me over that guy. Yeah. <laughs> so he just lit the lighter and that was it? Man, let me tell you something. If it's pitch black and somebody flick a lighter at you and you feel somebody oh, flick light. and you feel somebody's eyes on you <laughs> and like you looking at them into their eyes. It was eyes, like a moment. It, it was yeah, that's what y'all. I'm saying. It was and I'm t- it's a full blown party. Like it's packed, everybody's dancing, but I knew that that person that has looked at them Do you not know I can see you? Yeah, I see you, you see me. Like, and I knew what I saw, and well, so I you see me, see you with and I let it go. But then I realized that what I saw was now like on this side. I was just like, that was quick. Wait a minute, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Don't get do it again. Let me see how you did that. <laughs> At this point, I, I got a step. It's called dance hall, not run hall, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was probably yeah. That's the one that sticks out for me. Banks, you had a, a pickup line? Somebody oh, a pick yes! Line? What did you use as a pickup line? What did you use and what did they not use? I'm going to use your vocabulary word and use generality, uh, genuine, whatever the hell. Genuine now. Genuine Look. It was genuine. Genuine Genuinality. Because we got, we got to have you come up Genuinity. There you go. Yeah. Genuine. That was it. Yeah, genuinity. You know what I'm saying? From the from the dictionary, the, from the dictionary. Damn, I can't. we're gonna allow her to, to make up her own spelling. That's you feel me, Erica? Mm-hmm. Nah, but I'm always. That should be a song uh, if if you ever do something. I'm calling it genuinity. Yeah. Yeah. Not for real. For real. Nah, but I'm always. I need your cover art for that. Hell yeah. I'm always sincere oh, cool. about who I go you after. Do? You know what I'm saying? I like, know, but I will today. No, but she can, <laughs> she can fucking draw. What What were you saying, babe? About anybody I approach, I'm always mm-hmm. sincere, so I I don't really use pickup lines. Like it's just how you doing? You just ne- so time out. Mm-mm. You lying? Never, I don't know if he lying, but I just feel like I need you to be like, like girl, you like, must be tired. So you've you never like you're trying to tell me that you have never like just said some. Whether it's fly off the wall, just one off shit. You like never you knew it was gonna get you, up. You ain't never said nothing said random. Like funny shit. I mean, I feel like it's all about your approach, and if you're actually interested in that person, to compliment them. If you, if you compliment them, then wait, that's what I'm saying. It didn't necessarily have to be a nicety. Like, what would you compliment on? What's what's something that you try to notice first? Oh, um, if if that's the type of chick that I like, if she's uh, if I can see from a distance, see the type of chick that I like, I compliment on the way she carries herself or her hair or, or what have you. You know what I'm saying? And so then, you look at the face, like 
tear up facial features yeah. and stuff like that. I mean, I look, I do look at the entire body because I'm I'm not gonna get like I have a preference, but at the same time, like if it is something I like, I'm going to compliment you. Have and you ever approached something that you didn't like? No. Never. No. There okay, have been people that you oh, okay? No. Nah. At the no. Nah. So okay. <laughs> not to say that there wasn't like a sh- not to say that the person might have. Not even being like not cute. It's just the uh, normal attraction that you have. Like right. it hasn't been somebody out of the ordinary. Like not your normal preference or normal. I, I look at women like I shop for clothes. Okay, you come know on. What I'm saying like I didn't know how to feel about that. No, I didn't know how to feel about that. I was like, "Get up and make it." Let me just see how you dress though, because nah, it's not only that. The way I she wear wooden bow ties. Okay, I'm like, real. It's real legit. I can't believe they don't have enough. I mean, I know y'all here looking like no dolphins with no boxes on. I ain't gonna lie. He wearing a cuddle shirt, but when I first started coming to late night hype, (laughs) Banks would be in here, and that's when I had decided. (laughs) Now I'm already extra, but then I was just like, okay, it's late night hype. So I'm such a multi, I'm the type, you see, I come in here with a snapback quick, like, mm-hmm. I wear high top shoes, I don't have a necessarily a preference. I realized that I just couldn't downstep it though, because <laughs> this nigga was in here, I'm not kidding, this nigga had on a wooden bow tie. <laughs> the times he then came in here with embroidery. <laughs> when I first met him, him looked <laughs> like he has, look, I'm that bank out of independent film. So I tell people just... No, his okay. <laughs> <laughs> see how your women be coming. Banks was on the side. Look, you were uh, he wasn't the main character, but this nigga walked in like the rest of these. Like he was the main character, so I was like, okay, who is this? Because I was like, he don't have a speaking role. <laughs> but he got better than the speaking role. So what's going on? So yeah, like Banks, he really. So I guess I wasn't right. prepared. I said, oh okay. Yeah. So what I mean, like uh, when I say I look at women like I shop for clothes. You know, nah, I'm just saying. Yeah, like, it's supposed to be loud as fuck. You know what I'm saying? When I, when I, when I, when I, nah, when I nah, nah, I'm just saying though. Like, um, the way I shop for clothes is I don't pick it up unless it catches my attention or or stands out. To mm-hmm. me. So I'm not going to approach a woman if she doesn't catch my attention or she doesn't stand out. Mm-hmm. That's just how it is. Right, right, right. Period. So you like exotic. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be exotic. Just a woman who is comfortable is within herself. Ella, get your, get your <laughs> is that velvet? No. Yeah. Oh God, we shop at the same place. Nigga, this is Nah, but if she's comfortable within her own skin or being her, you know what I'm saying? That's what attracts me a lot. Yeah. Come on. Yes. So you still not telling us what's what's the best pickup line you've received? That I received? That a female said to you. That you was like, ooh, you fucking bitch. I don't know, like, cause a lot of women have approached me differently or tried to compliment me differently. Like I remember when a chick asked me to lift my pants leg, what? And she realized that my socks matches <laughs> match my suit, and she was like, "Yo, I need to fuss with you." I was like, All right. "That was weird." Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was like the most memorable. So yeah, like, if you were trying to get that bank, ask him what his socks. Pull up them pants, <laughs> right? Yeah, like I'm like, you want to see my socks, bitch? <laughs> What's your go-to drink whenever you're out? Um, With them socks? <laughs> yes. I was confused. What drink you request? Yeah. So we got you on J- uh, Jack and Lemonade right now. <laughs> it's like, nigga, if it's brown and it goes down, be here for it. I like brown. I mean, I'll drink me some clear. Don't get me wrong. I love me a little... Um, nope. I tell you what, Patron. I'm a fruity drink. We gotta be at home Mm -hmm. because Patron. Niggas. At this point, she gonna get it on. That that's something else. We need to be at home. So, oh, that's a good question. Since you are celibate, (laughs) is is there any drink you try to stay away from or been close to breaking that celibacy? No, I've never. I thought you were about to say that Don Julio. <laughs> <laughs> um, luckily, she was like, wait a minute. <laughs> luckily, he's really helpful within this whole process. Okay. So, so it's not just when like I do get like, 
What was that movie with uh, Queen Latifah and LL Cool J when they was trying not to have sex? Deliver us from evil. No. <laughs> no. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, uh, no. No, I think you're right. No, when she had lost her memory, because it was specifically just Queen Latifah. And yeah. She, I, God damn it, I can't. And they was like, they was, was like trying their best. Holiday, not to have, but LL Cool J. She wasn't was so bad in there, though. No, nah, but she, they was trying their best not to have sex, even though they was highly attracted to so each other. So it's not work. It's not yeah, exactly but I like that. Okay. You know, but I have my Those are the best like, situations, though, I will say. She she like being you know, I can tell. What you she mean? She like being chased. It ain't a chase. It's, this is the once in a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> you she said, said what the? You better go correct. Look here. No, like, Erica looked at you like you speaking to my no, soul, bitch. It's more so like, uh, it's really hard to say no to. Because it could be like jewel books down my spine. Yeah. Type of situation. But I feel like that's so. Good. And it's like, now, at I, this point, I'm like desiring to yes. just feel you because. It's been thus far, and I feel you without feeling you. So like, how long have like, you been with God? We've known each other since November. Okay. Oh, last year. Oh, last year? Yeah. That's so cute. I'm not going to say why. Shit, so. that's, that's damn near 10 months. Yeah. No, I like it. Because but these look, things, she I like, feel like when you can yes. genuinely <laughs> experience somebody, and that's where I'm at. Right, no, no, no. When you can yeah. genuinely experience and somebody. And he's like, I never loved somebody, um. Without having sex with him. That's a different type of love. It's a, it's a different feeling, like for real. And then it's like once you can feel feeling. that shit. See, mine's was never celibacy, but it has. I didn't look at it as celibacy. It's just I was for whatever strange ass reason, it just hadn't happened. Yeah. On mm-hmm. some shit. Okay. But it it was long enough longer than my my regular. Gosh, and, gosh. and but the feeling of it, just like that shit, was like. It's such a different like, type of bond because man, like, I feel like if I know see, you, like I you owe it to yourself to experience it at least once. <laughs> if you can do it more often, sure. Oh, but being celibate? Not even necessarily celibate, but just, just taking a break. Taking from. that time to like to regain the meaning. If you of can sex. enjoy that person, like replace instead of sex, replace it with something else. Maybe it's a date. Maybe it's a different hobby. Maybe it's some random shit that you would never do. Just do anything else but the sex. So every that person sense. that is on the show, if they're a girl, I, I tell them give big sister advice. So based based what you guys are saying, if a girl is in a relationship, entanglement, whatever it may be, mm-hmm. if they say, hey, they want to take your advice, how do you think they should start by, how do you start the conversation with that partner saying like, hey, I think... I want us to have a better bond, figure out other things, other ways for us to desire each other without, you know, physical, Literally sexual. Literally exactly yeah. what you just How said. Do you do? Mm-hmm. I want to desire you in other ways than just yeah. sexually. It's just that. And mm-hmm. I want to explore other, you know, options. I want to go different places. I want to see the world with you. I want to mm-hmm. see a park with you. I want it's to one see of those. A, something else other than your bits. So. Right. If you... If you have that type of connection with somebody and you vibing with somebody like that, and then you communicate that, with that person in that way. That doesn't sound so <laughs> one off. And at the same time, you being grown, you should still be able that's even like a short term goal just to even set because dating shouldn't be you just temporarily doing it with somebody that's anybody. Right. So if I'm wanting to like it's you, it's more than just the physical concept of it. The spirituality of it, or like the emotional concept, take away the physical part of it. Mm-hmm. It's so many different intimate things that you can do with somebody mm-hmm. that will really like, and you will crave a person in a different type of. We just getting some uh, advice to like even if you it. could so honestly it, like, like for real, real experience too. people in a different aspect. Mm-hmm. It's even with your friends, with women especially. If you can learn to embrace a take time apart from each other and and know that it's not because oh that bitch being fake she yeah, don't want to answer on. my phone calls no you no, need that i need to miss you so when like, i do come back with you it's, it's not like, on a, it's not on a, 
Girl, let me tell you about what this bitch did. It's because I got... Girl, let me tell you about all the good shit that happened this week. That I haven't even fucking talked to you. Like, literally, we don't have time to disgrade anyone else because we're so worried about the good stuff. So, what's the most shady thing your friend has ever did? Okay. That bitch took my motherfucking nigga and took him to prom. Shit. Fuck that bitch. (laughs) But as a man, going back on the previous topic, like, I would rather my girl be like, hey, I would... um, Cause sometimes it's hard to hear from from your chick, like, hey, we cutting off sex. But I would rather hear like, hey, I want us to reestablish or rebuild our friendship. I feel like our mm-hmm. friendship is taking a hit. You know what I'm saying? It was like you said, hey, give me time to miss you. You know what I'm saying? Because us doing what we doing every day or what have you, like, I want to be able to miss you. I want to be able to, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, so me and my my guy. <laughs> Nah, she was about to say me and my man. Right. Like, uh, me and my just guy. guy. <laughs> me and guy actually experienced that, um, where we were actually seeing each other every single day, and it was getting like, okay, all right, let's chill. Did you did you feel like that? You no, like, all right, it wasn't me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, no, I mean, of course, agreeing that we were seeing each other daily. Yeah. Um, it was necessary. I didn't agree with it initially. Yeah. I don't, I'm not really one to agree in, in breaks, in taking space. Because, like, sometimes to me, I, living in today's world, I feel break. like, what are you, what, what, I'm giving you space to go do. I feel work. like, and niggas say they're trying to take time to get themselves together. Mm-hmm. You get what together? Space is normally no, uh, either insecurity has been triggered or you're now stepping into untapped waters right. and you don't know what to do with it. At this point, it's not space that's needed. You need to determine whether I'm the one that you want to now share that vulnerability with. Right. Because if not, you saying that you want to take space, I'm going to take offense to it in a sense. I'm so happy that you said that share that vulnerability with Because it makes because a difference. Whatever situation, it's vulnerable. Man, like this is the late night. Like, I ain't never heard so many positive words. Hallelujah. <laughs> To the late hey, night hype, you know right. what I'm saying? <laughs> I heard so many words we today. Are okay. yeah. Yeah. Every time, yeah, no, they say vulnerability. No, that, 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 that is true. So many people, especially in men, like in in men, they are they such are vulnerable creatures, but they do not show it like women. Oh, I hate when when that's guys true. get sick. So and true. so they hide or they, 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 they shut they, down or they run or they push mm-hmm. you away until Honestly, they can bring speaking, you back. Speaking for men, like, I'm not speaking for men any, everywhere, but speaking personally, like, we're not bred for that. Bred like, we're not raised to do that. Right. To be like, emotional, right? I had okay, to learn. The part. I had to teach myself and learn how to be emotional. Uh, well, actually, be openly emotional because I will shut down and be emotionally privately no for real and i will say too because it, well, and we all music. know this about men and as much as we can sit here and focus about women and say oh you know we're emotional we don't take the time out to step back and say but what about the dude because they i say hurt differently just to be funny but it's true yeah. they do because, because they don't get to hurt in in public you know and we we choose to hurt in public. There are some women that I, I don't personally hurt in public. I don't right. like to Look, show people that I'm, we're not you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not crying. You you I'm not crying down the wall over there. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going. You not know. I'm about to. My pupils gonna be open. Right. right. Before you see anything dry. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna hurt you in public. Right. Like, right. Like, right. Like, right. Like, right. Right. I um yeah I definitely have my certain people but as far as the guys the, they'll definitely try to hide from that before they give it to us right and I and women there was a part of the time where I fucked up a relationship because I wasn't making money how I'm making money now mm-hmm. but oh, I'll was, talk about it John. right I had and that'll uh, really right no, no, it's it's a, it's talk really. about the finance I had lost men my, and their egos when it comes to them they need to be providers and that's right. the reason I had why lost my job you and gotta I didn't, let men do I didn't it. feel like how could I be a man to this woman that I can't even pay bills all that's the way. a different type of depression you, know you a like, good woman that was willing to help you and she was a good woman but I didn't one of, you were you weren't willing to allow her your pride to, right I wasn't mentally mm-hmm. there so yet. what happens 
Have you ever gotten to a point where you feel like, well, what if, God forbid, but if in the event something like that were to happen now, would you be willing to allow your woman to help you get back on your feet until yeah. you, or until Because I'm, I'm mentally feet? mature enough Amen. to accept Hallelujah. that. Hallelujah, that's all I need to hear, my brother. She said, shut up, no, no, no. Y'all know what? 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 Because listen, a lot of men will not and they will they run and they that. will tell you, I need space, I need to get away from you and I need to go get myself together before I can take care of you. But when you leave me and allow me space to get myself together while you're getting yourself together, then that leaves me to surpass you at a certain point of time. Now, while you're thinking that you're getting yourself together to come take care of me, I'm still getting myself together to take, to take care of me. Right. So, and that also opened the door for somebody you know else. What I mean? right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And that's how that comes in. And I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm not, and I'm not. Because what we don't do is let somebody who's doing the right things, who's being that person, and now I'm going to sit up here and act like I still need to take a seat and ride with this. I can't even be like, no, you, you need to mention She got her church face. Right? Right. Right. Just really you about to make me wear my shirt. <laughs> it's called self-accountability. Everybody Hello. has it. And you, that's why I said at earlier, you got to be able to take care of yeah. you first before me. Because you first before me has nothing to do with me. When you die, you going into the grave alone. It's not to say that I'm not going to miss you, that I'm not going to take away from what we have. And I have to but what does alone. your own legacy say? You should be proud about what your own name means to you before me. That's before free. you want me to have your last name, what the fuck does that last name mean? Wow. Like, you know. Are you cool? I got a real last you name. You take it? my last name, nigga. Like, that, I'm proud to say my last name is so and so. Like, you fucking right. And I'm giving it to this so, woman. So based how you guys said, then it sounds like women always feel underappreciated. So I assume definitely guys may not know when they're doing the right thing. So how can girls show guys like, hey, you know, I'm really proud of, you know, simple things. Those simple mm-hmm. things. I feel mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. at this point. Take away from what your list of I want my man to do is. Yeah, there is you, no list. Bitch, you throw that shit in the trash. You have to at some point, like how you have a, a point that you feel like you want somebody to respect you, you got to know, or I would hope that you would want the dude to feel the same way how you feel. Just as high as my standard and my morals is, I expect for that to be the same matched energy. So at the same time, I know that it's going to be different little pleasantries. How my man noticed, oh, you retwisted your hair today. You wrapped mm-hmm. your hair up today. You you decided to do it differently. Oh, you never wear your hair like that. This Even if it's the same ass edge up. I have to say something. Yeah. Oh, you you got a different shape. Or, or do wait, I feel like. Okay. I'm sorry. No, no, no. no, no. Okay. no. I feel like um, women fail at this a lot of the time, but men just want to feel boosted. Come on. That and man. Feel, and and it, it could be the slightest thing, like, the slightest thing. I don't even know. Like, it, it, it could be something that you did. But just to make him feel like it was something he did. Yeah. I'm trying to tell And you. he's going to feel like he's on top of the world that you praised him that much mm-hmm. to not only knowing. I, I mean, I feel shit. like that's fast because men want to feel appreciated just like the women exactly. want to feel appreciated. Because, because men go out of their way to, to make us feel appreciated because they know we want to feel that. Yeah. But for, 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 for us. It's like a, a guy is so hard and they're supposed to take care of stuff mm-hmm. and they don't really care to hear this. No, I go can. out of my Every life man completely. Can. I try to, yeah. To the point where he calls me a gas station. Cause oh, baby, you are hot some. And I'm gonna make you know every second of the day. Yes, you know, I know gas station. Make him know. <laughs> make him know. 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 Make And I feel really? like too where for people like myself, I'm just very, I'm an alpha woman. Yeah, yes. no way around. I take care of. I'm business. a very I'm strong. Do what woman. I gotta do. So sometimes I have to scale myself back. And don't get me wrong, I love being a feminine woman. Like I know how to treat my man, but I still have to take a step back 
to now Submit. let a man be the man. And you got to do it. And I be having, when I say I be talking shit to myself, like pep talk, like, and I be having to suck it up, I be mad as hell. Oh, like, I don't want to do this shit. Let me apologize. Like, so, let me just. Guys, <laughs> so back on the appreciation thing, I, I had asked Banks one time before. They say that sex is not a gift. So it's Valentine's Day. That's or, what? And so, I'm how do y'all feel? She said, I'm already like, mad. Sex is not a gift to us. Yeah, so they, no, so that was the thing. It was like, pussy is not a gift, but true. I don't mean it at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to think about it like this in reality. Most women want a gift. They want something. Not Shiny, to say not everything. They want something. To, but then when it comes to the man, it's pussy. That's all that they have to offer. Like, that's not a gift. Like no. at this Still point, not. but they say two is. So I'm saying, what is it that you'd probably give differently, or if you want to answer, why would most guys think two is better than just you know the girl just is it like oh you know it's Christmas oh it's your birthday you know you about to get some oh it's Valentine's Day oh no. you mean like two girls yeah but remember oh. they said the meme was like one is not a gift but two is so it's I like, mean oh, that's just because some men I. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you could, you could go. Uh, some men never had a menage a trois or a threesome. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I can I see how that could be an actual I have. I, I've done it once. Um, and it was fun for the time being. I would not do it again ever. Um, I would not recommend So when I say I would never, I'm not saying more but, so from the aspect, because that's like sex, sexuality. That's right. different. Right. But to say, for me, if this is my man, the reason why I say two is not a gift, because I don't, you can't slice me down. So it's not nothing to say that nothing outside of what I could do for you and two women, this is what's better. Right. Like, I don't even perceive that as an option. Right, like, right, right. A menage a trois at Maybe because everything you need is right here. Yeah. Homegrown, because <laughs> yeah, it's right here. <laughs> so Let's put a different wig on. I can give you a different bitch. Look, no. But at the same time, like, I can understand how it's feel like pussy is not a gift. Like we done went out our way to probably shower you with some shit, probably gave right. you some rose petals at the door when you came I mean, in. You a little candlelight you dinner or what have you, ran you a bubble bath. Just no. help you feel relaxed type shit. You like, know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't even have to be monetary. It can just be it a massage, you know sis. When saying? I tell you I got a whole again, massage table at the crib. The most <laughs> you know what you the most sensual acts are the best gifts right at this point i can spread my legs anytime it don't need to be a holiday for me to spread them like yeah. that that's why i be feeling sorry for so some of my brothers like, like, it's, 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 it's christmas no, i might give them some point, head because <laughs> one of the ways, and i'm such a person that i believe in leaving an impact i'm gonna make you remember this day even if it's the See, I'm that way too. I'm an experienced person. Yes. I want you to remember. That's why I said it's the entire experience. Yeah. I'm not gonna do anything that at this point you can say, Oh, it's just another day. Yeah. Regardless if you decide to go tell your boys what I did, at it this point you gonna know whether you choose to keep it to yourself and fellas, that you appreciate what just happened. Fellas, yeah. don't don't ever Ooh, kiss and tell. That's that's, that's the worst thing. Ooh. I was not okay. Ooh. No, no. no. Is it wrong if do you guys? Yeah. Girls definitely because girls talk. So to, I'm, I'm gonna put it like this. So like, about that, about that, that about that. So do girls talk? Cause I don't talk too much. I, nah, I mean, I don't I, do that no like, more. But when I was, I, I, I talk too much. Like I say, like I don't kiss and tell for the simple fact that you giving somebody your partners, your yeah. homies, or whatever the idea of your woman. So, you know what I'm saying? But so, if she was to tell her girls about you, you'd want to be want it to be a good, right? I mean, at the end of the day, hell yeah. But at but at the same time, like it'll be wise of her not to because if you telling another chick how the dick is, then the other chick might want to see what that dick about. But see, I feel like that's up to the person. <laughs> that like, depends on how solid your well, friends yeah. are. That's just I can say this right here. What we're talking about. Is why I feel like marriage and things that are supposed to be sacred are taken for granted these days. Yeah. Right. Because Absolutely. everybody wants some type of gratification. Everybody wants some type of social media to just hype them about it. But these are one-off times. It means so much more when you don't have to share everything with public. Right. My who I am, Empress Black, 
that's my radio personality. That's when I'm out. That's when you entertain it. That's when I'm entertaining. That has absolutely nothing to do with who Britney is. That's my government name. That's, yeah, that's the first time I ever met know your government. Right? <laughs> that's like, that's that's you, that whole stop. That I'm just trying. To, and that's completely <laughs> who the fuck, different. If you would have called me like, "Hey, this Britney, who?" who? That, that, that <laughs> just goes to show you, like, that's when you find out when your mama name is for the first time. So like, <laughs> mama, what? <laughs> So Your name is Mama. <laughs> <laughs> but no, for real. But it's just things like that. It's separate. I don't. It's so many things that as as sexual as I can be on this show, as much stuff I can talk about anything in general. But have I done everything? No. But at the same time, it makes me feel good to say that because then at this point. Some dude will appreciate that because yeah, you gonna watch all these yeah. videos he, and I'm here for it. He's like, I really, you know what? She really cool. Not she for it. No but that's the part that I like <laughs> about it because it's like you give off at this point, you know, behind closed doors, it's some things that you can say that you know for sure nobody else has experienced with me. Mm-hmm. But people don't look at those smaller things. Like those smaller little things make a dude's ego go so much more mm-hmm. and appreciate you in so many different ways. Or even just taking the time out, like when I had a dude, I used to rock, make this nigga's lunch and put a note in that bitch. I'm so horny, like that too. But at the yeah, same time, it's one of those That shit make a nigga just fall, like. Yeah. Nigga, she oh. she gave and me even the fuck. cursive is nice. Like, like yeah. come on. Like, it's yeah. just so many small things that people. I'm such a tiny person when it comes to small little details. love. Like, I love love. Oh my God. When I tell you. I celebrate my birthday. I go hard for my birthday because that's yeah. how I feel about myself. I love love. I love the love. fact that y'all love. bought me this little slice of cake, like that means so much to me because I'm such a sensitive person that it's like I didn't expect mm-hmm. for y'all to at least take the time out to say happy birthday to me. I'm just naturally over the top for myself. Mm-hmm. So things like that go a long way, but people don't appreciate the smaller things in life no more yeah everything has to be flashy mm-hmm. over the top let me see how many likes i got who reposted it who shared it and i'm like nah. get off of social media a dude will appreciate a woman so much more if there's so much more to her outside of her social media life that's like um i think you mentioned this the other day like how people don't really have uh dinners or sit down at the table oh, yeah. without oh, being yeah. on their phone. Yeah. They just sitting there and actually enjoying dinner with that. the family and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I do I do I think everything like you guys are saying is stemming from <laughs> things are not being taught because there's too many broken homes right now. Mm-hmm. So things like that you got like that's why I realized like okay, I used to eat with my family all the time. So it's like find if I was to find someone that does the same thing Mm-hmm. I just know, and like you said, it's the small things. Cause mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, if you still do that, there's probably other things that mm-hmm. we still have in common that mm-hmm. people just don't realize do go a long way. Jeez. So to piggyback off of that, going back to this whole WAP song. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm pretty sure if a lot of people on my feed, there's a particular person. It's no shade to you, but I gotta speak on it. Go that ass. We end up having <laughs> to go back and forth on the post because it was more so saying that. If Megan and Cardi B are the future, I feel sorry for the women that's coming up. And so my thing was, (laughs) I think about, and I can only speak off of experience, how I was brought up. Don't get me wrong. All that raunchy ass dance hall music, too short, Lil' Kim, Mm -hmm. I could not listen to that shit when I was coming up. Like right, right, my right. mom was popping CDs or like we was for real getting in trouble tell, on some shit. Tell me why like, tell me why my mama bought a CD for me for Christmas, right? <laughs> She didn't know I was already listening to Uncle Luke and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, but she heard them lyrics. So I'm in the back seat of the su- car singing. <laughs> like she got, she bought the Room One Twelve CD. Nah. <laughs> she she didn't, didn't know what she bought. No, you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the back. Didn't know what she didn't even. I'm in, I'm in the back seat singing lyric for lyric. She was like, uh, uh, what, said, uh, what, uh, <laughs> "What? do you say?" Why I said, "This is this the CD you bought me for Christmas." Remember? She was like, "I bought that." <laughs> <laughs> I felt bad because my siblings are like, "Oh, you 
because they wanted GTA, right? <laughs> I knew what the game was about, but my mom didn't know what the game was about. And mm-hmm. I accidentally slipped and said something. I ain't never had siblings that ain't talked so, to me for a long time. That's what I'm saying, though. Like, and so I was just saying that based off of how I was raised, and I stand wholeheartedly <laughs> behind this, and I don't have kids, yeah. you have full control over how your child mind develops, mm-hmm. how they're raised, what yeah. they're exposed to, mm-hmm. their morale until when they're able to make sound judgment for themselves. If you ex- if you teach them from young who they are, their real roots, things that give them substance, when they hear stuff like what, for me, mm-hmm. it's the beat. I like the sample of it because I'm a music head. Right. At this point, I talk that much shit in my real life, so I understand the ownership yeah, of the song. Yeah. Take away from the lyrics. That's and something about basking in your own truth that most people cannot do. And that's one of the reasons why I respect uh, Danny Glover, aka Childish Gambino, parents, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they did not. They only allowed him. I think he had siblings, but allowed him and his siblings to only watch TV for an hour a day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And he took that small, minute hour, created a whole series for himself before he became. Uh, uh, the icon that he is now, right? You know what I'm saying. So, like you said, it is a, it does depend on the child development. But, and the funny thing was, do said that if you feel like that these songs will not influence your children or future children, you're naive. Mm-hmm. I said it, and I the only thing I can think of to myself is that's naive of you to think that you don't have control over right. your own children, children, your own offsprings. To raise them better in a broken society for Ooh. them to be able to make so sound judgments. Question. So, for the both of you, <laughs> what age do you feel like you want to have children? When the Lord blesses me with them. So I have a question know. to piggyback off. I will say. You say when the Lord bless you? Yes, I remember age. Baby, I, I am youthful. I am. Fertile. I don't know kids at four years have, or nothing, but I mean, look. What I will say is this, and and I don't mean to step on nobody's toes, but it's just the reality of the truth. I lived my best life in right. my twenties. Okay. I lived my best life in my twenties. Okay. I've done everything to um, travel. Mm. I went to school. I fucked up. I've just done everything. Like, I know who I am. It's not to take away from my friends, but at the same time, I know what their struggles are trying to raise their kids through their 20s and didn't get to live their life. You're trying to tell me that just now at 35 plus that you're just now able to start doing the things that I've been doing. For real. So at this point, I feel like I've saved myself to do nothing else but raise my family and do my family things. And on that note, I think we need to take a birthday shot. I I brought crown, you know. At this point... Banks, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this cake, now let me tell y'all something. I don't know if you paid attention. I hate chocolate cake. So the fact that y'all brought me this world vanilla marble cake. Yeah. See, and that's another reason why I called you earlier you didn't pick up because I didn't know what flavor you like. Mm-mm. <laughs> you know, when, see, I got a nine to five <laughs> during the day. <laughs> Sometimes when I be on a clock to pick up my phone, yeah, because they really be going about their money at times. I so believe I, it. I mean, having to chill, but other than that, I really like truly appreciate. Like, I feel like this already got it started off. Again, I will wait till we off camera to give you this first part of how my birthday started. Wow. But yeah, I mean, this. <laughs> hey, so open question. This shit. Uh oh. I, I hope you make it back in time too. So, with I, I don't, hold on, hold on. If, if you hope it's. Are we taking a shot of the crown or are we taking a shot of this? Uh, which, whatever we, you want to do. It's your birthday. You pick. This is Emperor's Black Edition. You feel me? Is that dance? We gotta. Mm. We gotta get up some dance hall topics actually since she's in the restaurant. Dagger. <laughs> <Bagged. laughs> <laughs> Sean Paul? I like Sean Paul. So I liked Sean Paul before he came commercial. Back when he was on Belly. Yeah, back when Sean Paul was under. Oh, yeah. Like I support him becoming commercial because that's what solidified his career. Got it. Yeah. His bread. I don't take away he's from going it. Around the world. But yeah, Sean yeah. Paul when he was like straight up underground, Sean Paul was lit. 
I feel yeah. like that's when a lot of artists made some of their best music. Yeah. It's when they went commercial that they kind of saturated their music. But, and uh, this is no Sean on uh, um, Slim Thug, but when he went... Uh, but when he went commercial, he realized he was like, "Yo, I need to go back to Texas." He, si he signed with Neptunes for a minute, made some good music, and then came right back to Texas. I don't know if I'm wrong to say this because I know that Grade A fucks with this person like tough. So at this point, please don't discredit Grade A. I'm just speaking from me listening to music, and I'm a music head from a different What's aspect. Up? But little flip yeah i feel like i feel like when he was underground when he was freestyling that's when he was like the shit like Lil don't flip. get me wrong this is the way we ball really took him places right but because like we were saying when you have to step into commercial and because at that time they that didn't really understand did like the again? houston culture they didn't really know what to do with him kind of right so and, I and when it came like, to little flip like it it was more of the fact that uh he was good underground when he first started mm -hmm. out when he uh went mainstream or commercial you know what i'm saying he was doing okay i bought the albums I right the that's what i'm them. saying um uh, what saturated what messed up his career a little bit was when he dropped that uh uh what's that track uh that game over and didn't get the clearance for the pac-man sample yeah you know what i'm saying and that's why i feel like that's where the underground part comes up because you know it's easier to underground freestyle on some shit because it's not going to go nowhere really. right but what people haven't realized is lil flip been dropping projects lately mm -hmm. and his flow game has actually stepped the fuck up see like yeah. he got a track called Propane. Mm -hmm. I fucks with Propane. Mm -hmm. Tough. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'll go back and bang that hoe mm -hmm. and roll a blunt to that motherfucker. And mm -hmm. see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's why I feel like not to say he was before his time in a sense because Are he you was. Able to take a shot? Are you able to take a shot, boo? Of course. All right. So we yeah. take it. Oh, Ain't nothing man. wrong with it, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes that liquor just go through you. Yeah. I'm trying to tell you. That's why but I have yeah, to get I some lemonade. I feel like I wish that he could have been marketed differently for people to really appreciate him how Houston did. Right. I mean, and, uh, on that note, like, Lil Flip, he got his podcast. Mm -hmm. He uh, dropping the Who's Next project. I mm -hmm. believe I got one of my tracks on there. Mm -hmm. And, um... Uh, uh, he's actually been making moves. I, I'm waiting for him and Zero to drop another King of the South project. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? ABN is still one of my best. But you know that. I know. They, I know. You know what I'm saying? And I understand. And I just want to I was just know talking to somebody the other day. Person that is not, I'm Houston, but I ain't that Houston. But I'm telling y'all, ABN. Like, I, I'm here I just told somebody the other track. day. I was like, like yo. Brain if I ever got shit. signed to Zero, I would probably get kicked out. <laughs> Of one deep entertainment because I would try to finesse some way <laughs> to get them on the track together. Like I get on the track. Somehow, please. Like, <laughs> then you I'll send a uh, Trey a blank version of the track uh, and then and match it together. You didn't even know that was about to happen. Like, this was happening. like we're doing this. I need y'all to understand that it's people like us. We appreciate you guys individually. All right, we about to take this crown shot in the in, in the Ooh. love of Empress. In her birthday, you know what I'm saying? In her genuinity. In her genuinity. And I love her not to, like and For all y'all really. out there, go ahead, take a shot with us. If you ain't got your drink ready, we'll get your August drink. August 15th is my official birthday. Hey. I'm 34, but I'm the type from 8 We one. started today because uh, it was my interview. You feel me? That's right. And, yes. and after this, we're going to we gonna get a question from me, me from the catch. Cool. Yes. <laughs> all right. Yes. That's a big shot. For the dead <laughs> <laughs> That's the dumbest. My ancestors, ain't even mad. Huh? My ancestors, excuse me, we not, we not pouring out no liquor. Yeah. <clears throat> so back on the kids' topic. Uh oh. Say, <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh, hold on. So, wait a minute. Let's say you have a child. Let's just say you guys all have a son, right? Vanilla Ooh. crown. Your yeah. son comes back home with a girl. Uh huh. Come on, son, with a girl. The girl wearing. Crop top, nipple piercings, or whatever, right? So she's like, so should I say hi to your parents? 
And in his head, he's like, no, hell no. Nah. Oh room. my God. What would you, how would you take it? Do you, I know, I'm just going to take faith first dibs. That happened to me over this weekend. So I can't say, God, possibly. <laughs> So I had went out Friday and again that's why I said we probably gonna most likely turn up Friday because y'all still have a thing like out out. Yeah, I saw the picture. Okay. So yeah, so that night. Okay, so I have spent the night and then it was just like, oh, I'm about to go to my cousin's house. You can come. And I was like, hell no, nah, not in my whole dress. Like, Not in my whole dress. I feel like not first in impressions are everything when right. it comes to family. Yes. I don't care if you have the most down-to-earth parent, whatever right. it is. It's still love. But is it not it's faking, a, though? If it's she's not showing a, up one day? But it's, it's about respect. Right. Respect at this point means at this point you putting yourself last to respect who because this person is as an elder. This is not her every day. Like, you know mm. what I'm saying? Like, at this point, my every day, what I do in the streets, who I am when I'm here, has nothing to do with me now coming to meet your mother, coming mm. to meet your father. And this is me saying this, like, I'm coming to meet your mother or father. As I'm a not finna show up just any type of way because right. I know how my mama is. As a yeah. man, if my girl got in the car and she was dressed in what oh, you just no. said, you're like, oh, you're you about to go meet your mama. Uh-uh-uh. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you about to go meet your mama. Funny story. I'll give you a little example because I, I, I was just going to guys' house. We were finna smoke, chill. Just mm-hmm. chill, chill. So, so guys smoke. Oh, we we know about him. Yeah. 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 So, you know, we was about to just chill. So, I just... Finished cleaning. I had on like this little tank top, no bra, mm-hmm. nothing, just mm-hmm. some shorts, just chilling. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I'm not going to speak to your parents like, right. at all. Yeah. Simply being shorts, a little tank. That's just respect. Yeah, that's just, he that's gives me his shirt. Like that's gonna make a difference. Type of situation, like mm-hmm. it makes a difference. I'm like, Nah. No. Also, oh, so what you guys are saying is you right. need to be done up, dressed up. That's it's not even done not, up. It's just I can, respectfully. These same ripped jeans that I have on now, I can have on a different shirt. Like right. I'm not gonna have on this because I'm coming over. It's like, like respectful point, attire. I can put on a free T-shirt. At this point, it don't matter where it's from, but I just don't like my what I see. Out. My sex appeal for our man is not for his daddy. Yeah, I'm not gonna right. show up at this point. My t- I like my cleavage. But is my cleavage for your mama? Hey. Like, so, but she don't like, like me because I have that out. Probably not. If she's you not did not show up proper, and let's just say you do like to dress, pro- no, I'm not gonna say provocatively, because I feel yeah. like provocatively is up to. I uh, only it's provocative. So what we say? Huh? But yeah, so <laughs> I was like, if she, if you do dress a little provocative, mm-hmm. let's say when you first meet her. You know, you're dressed fine. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. after that, then they're kind of like, okay, so you're not really. The type of person is that not lying? Or? It's not lying. I feel like it's levels to this shit. Let me tell you something. From nine thirty to seven, I'm caring. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Hello. Hello. How can I help you? I am, she sound like she got eight hundred credit scores. Thank you. Thank you. This is Brittany. How are you doing? That's my money. Okay. 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 Thank you. 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 Who you are eternally, mm-hmm. who you are as a person, yes, right. that's who you are. But yeah. it's different hats that you need to wear out in the battlefield. You cannot be just committed to one role. If you only got one role in life, you're not going to make it as far. But wait, I'll what about like, like you have big entertainers that are well known like Snoop Dogg? You always know Snoop Dogg. But that's the, thing, like, though. that's the character again that you see. But see, when Snoop Dogg first started out, camera, Snoop Dogg was wearing suits. You know what I'm saying? But Snoop I would have was actually for real hard so But I say right. but I also say this. Yeah. However you dress that if and I'm not saying on celebrity status, I'm just talking about everyday people. However you dress going to work is how you should dress going to meet somebody's parents. 
I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Church. It, it just makes me? a difference. It's, you because it's all to. about respect. And you're not, like she said, you're not dressing for your significant other. You're dressing for the respect of the parents. Because you, you don't want their parents to be like, well... I know you like her or you like him. Do you actually tell? In the yeah. sense, if you're gonna show yeah. up exactly Absolutely. who you are and not turn it off for them not to be able to determine because at this point I want my personality to speak for who I am. Mm-hmm. I need at this point for your parents to vibe with me on a different level, for them to know that they can take me somewhere. If I'm gonna show up like this and I know that I'm coming to meet someone else's parents. That means I don't give a fuck about how they show up to meet my yes. parents in the sense. Right. You should have a certain standard that you want anybody to meet your own parents. I'm Cause, sorry. Because anybody that knows me personally, this Bruh. is the comfortable I've ever been. Yeah. If I'm going out in public, period, nigga, it's, no. Nah. Yeah. I'm loafers, dress you. Come on, nigga, you. Why you do this for my interview? I mean, but shit, I'm sorry. We're going to redo it. It's fine. We're going to redo that. It's, it's, it's the late night hype. This is, I can <laughs> only be this comfortable during this time. It's <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> when I'm on the air, not loud. <laughs> <laughs> what my mom instilled in me. You never know who you going to see that day. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm so it's right one now. of those where it's like, call Let me, me get extra, it together. Call me what you want. Oh, I feel like doing this. Oh, at least I'm, bu- uh, I'm photogenic ready. You feel me? At this point, <laughs> regardless if it's up to my standard, I know that however I can be presented, is always at least ninety five percent of my best. Could, could you? Could I'm so glad you said that photogenic ready because I saw Lyric Galore at the gallery like three, five, six, seven years ago, and that bitch did not want to take a picture of me because she didn't have her lashes on or whatever. I and I just thought that was so unfucking professional because bitch, you should first always. of all you're not a celebrity, but if you want to be a celebrity. Bitch, you know you need to leave out the house with your lashes on because it's going to be bitches that want to Like when I had the OG girls, they weren't dressed up either. Could could you 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 imagine me giving somebody my real estate card dressed like this? No. Exactly. You have to be the part. When I I am Erica Kasi, I'm Erica Kasi. You're not going to see me portraying Erica A. Rand. I'm not going to tell you in my uh, business suit talking to veterans. Oh, make sure you go listen to um, Sylvie while you're at it. No. After you go to your appointment. Because it's not going to On the way it. from your compensation and pension exam. How about you pop that album in your uh, <laughs> CD player? You feel me? For Sylvie. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Why do people that do that? They got a meme. If I am in Erica Aran mode, you better yeah. believe I'm going to serve you life and tell yeah. you. I'm going to serve you, you better hop on Apple and happy meals. And get Just on. I, I, love, I love how she slid that little promotion yeah. in real you quick. Know, <laughs> 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 get on my YouTube, whatever it may be. <laughs> it's one of those, it turns yeah. in, it's a gimmick. You, just like how y'all been saying, y'all didn't know my real name before this night. But anytime you have ever seen me, it's never been short of anything less than Empress. Right. right. You know my style. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to tell you at this point my real name. Because Just because you're Britney yeah. doesn't mean... She still like unruly. Come on, at this, come on, it I'm all still this person. Back. So that's why I feel like it's levels to it. If you don't have levels to your lifestyle... Yeah. You don't even know the meaning of an upgrade. And you don't even know the meaning of what it means to actually... Like, Erica wears glasses sometimes because oh literally be today angry. I was going to my lashes and then I was like, I can't see what the hell You have yeah. to have different Pop these five focus on. You can't just see mm-hmm. that one thing. It's so many different hats that a person could wear. When I go down the list, of what I can do and what I've gone to school for, it'll still give you a better appreciation yeah, of who I am. Sure. Yeah. But if you don't have no substance to yourself and that's it, girl, you better don't be mad when we just like, oh, oh, all right. I know. So do y'all have different hats with y'all parents? Have your parents ever caught y'all doing something that was out of character? Child, my mama caught me doing everything. <laughs> I can't Only the son that ain't got no business being caught. Really? And maybe because God knew she wasn't gonna be here for the rest of my life for <laughs> me to catch it. To get on to get on my ass about it so I can tell y'all story. <laughs> See, my mama caught me in the middle of having sex. <laughs> what? I'm talking about her ass was up in the air. I was. Yeah. I was 
supposed to be at school. <laughs> my mama was supposed to be at work. <laughs> she caught you in the act? In the act, did nigga. You, did you pull your dick out or did this girl pull the dick out? Oh, no, nah, it wasn't that serious. Nah, Let nigga. I just stopped. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> mama. <laughs> mama. You wasn't supposed to be here. You supposed to be here. Right. So, mom, I'm sorry. Because she be going back watching this shit. I'm sorry. But my baby brother. She learned who Brittany was and she learned who Empress was. Oh, yeah. like, oh she ain't been confused for a long time. She's <laughs> very aware. Mm-hmm. But no, my baby brother and my homegirl that I'm still cool with. I'm so sorry, Mr. Baby Shower. Sorry. But her fucking caught me. And it was too priceless because my brother was one of those open and close the door. My homegirl, at least more so, she opened that bitch and was like, uh-uh, y'all in here doing the nasty. Oh, man, you, like, you loud ass, shut the fuck up. She was like, hey, why you got your fucking socks on? Oh no, that's not that one. Either he had, either he had yeah. Ginsu or he needed extra grip. It was and one of the I two. Was so <laughs> because it's like, what do you do after that? <laughs> <laughs> it's really one of those where, and because it's the late night hype, I just feel like that's what for me solidified that I think I like to have near caught experience. Oh, that's it. that's what you feel. Great on the inside. She's 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 anybody that's interested in Empress Black and actually want to get to know her. She likes. She's she's an ex. If she opens that world to you, she's an exhibition. I'm I'm very willing about a lot of things. I'm gonna just say when I get my man, whoever he is, got your mama involved. She can walk in. What? But but, uh, I'm always about sneaking somewhere. Erica, real quick before we wrap this up. (laughs) uh let people know where they can find you on social media as well as where they can find your music. I can be found. Okay, this is a big question. Okay. Be <laughs> <Really> professional. <laughs> she put the imaginary glasses on? Yeah. Nigga, what? I That's a meme moment. I could be found on, on Instagram at Erica Abraham. Thank you, Jesus. They just changed my Instagram name. It's no more official, y'all. Hallelujah. What? Just Erica Abraham. Okay. You know just Erica Abraham. That's E R I C A. I don't know why people want to put the K in their name so bad. It's just a C. E R I C A. A R A N. Sound like it's spelled. Abraham. Erica Abraham. On Twitter, the Erica Abraham. YouTube, Erica Abraham. Cussy. K E. Double S, double E. So easy. So easy. Yes, y'all. Don't make it hard. I mean, Apple Music, Erica Aran. I mean, literally, sound. Find her. Erica and what's the uh, Say hello. Comment. Um, Pandora, Erica Aran. Spotify, Erica Aran. Come on. iHeart Music. Erica it's, Aran. It's consistent. Google right? Ads. <laughs> Erica Aran. I got it all for you, Erica Aran. So, what's you the know? latest track that you put out? And when did you put it out? Right now, it's just been July 18, 2018. That was two years ago. So, that was Selfie uh, EP. Mm-hmm. So, stay tuned. We have the album, The Portrait. Mm-hmm. Oh shit! That sounds like some beautiful shit. I don't have a specific date that it's coming out just yet, but, it's work. but if y'all follow my socials, I will definitely be keeping y'all updated with behind the portrait on my YouTube with vlogs mm-hmm. of the studio sessions and events and different things that will be going on. Do that, you have any yeah. music videos on your YouTube? Um, I do have videos on my YouTube. Not music, music videos, yeah. vlogs. There will be more coming. I'm to check you out. Yes, yes. We're going to definitely we're repost. Let us know when it comes out because we're going to be Yes, ahead. for sure. So, yeah, we have all of that coming. I have actually, um, I'm recording. I have a lot of recording going on next week for YouTube. So, mm-hmm. it'll be a lot of new videos, a lot of new content being put out um, in regards to that. And in regards to studio sessions, vlogs, things like that as far as the portrait is concerned. So we're getting ready for that and how much do you charge for your services if we get more artists in and they want to work with you? How much are you, um, you as charge as for drops? For me to drops like what? Drops Okay. Like you tuned in to the late night hype and type stuff. I'll wait till she finished doing her stuff first to go into that one. So. Okay. So as far as my features, 
Um, for a verse and a hood, 200. You know, it's it's real simple. Uh, a lot of people like to do the most, uh, especially a, a lot of my family, a lot of my friends, they like to do the most and tell me that I'm this person. You know your yeah. verse. Yeah, you know, your you verse. know, so 200 verse and of course I'm cool with. Anything other than that, we can talk about it honestly because it might not even be really. Mm -hmm. But if I feel a vibe with you and mm -hmm. I'm really messing with it, mm -hmm. we can just work with some percentages, get that mm -hmm. done, right, right, right. and let's put it out. Let's get some good work done. But um, situations like that, it's just kind of hit and miss, kind of conversation basis. Thanks. I better hear you on the song. Hey, I already chopped it up with yeah. him before we even came so up here. So, so, to, to go back, so a drop, just something to add into your repertoire. A lot of dance hall and yeah, reggae, yeah. when it comes to drops, all of the artists, people will pay the artists. And depending on how you start to get more up, 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 you can charge more. But it'll literally be like your single, but you might tailor it to fit my the show. A reggae like, type of feel. But it'll be you giving me a shout out. But So you might start singing the lyrics for the first 30 seconds of your EP, but you're going to tailor it now to Empress. But you can charge for that. Yeah. Just like how Cardi B be doing. Hey, you now listen to 97.9 The Box. They charge for those. Right. So it's like, it's a one-time fee for you, but it's like for us, it's forever promo for you. Right. Like, oh, us yeah. up, but yeah. for different mixes that I, we're doing, if I'm doing like just music and stuff, I have now a drop from the artist that's shouting me out. If you were to do something like that, as far as... But in regards to that, I'd probably do something like, I don't know, maybe like a $50, $30 type so of deal. Was, I will because say, if you're doing it consistently, I would like you a, know that those are something that you yeah. can eventually, those would be your fallback to. Right. When you're not even doing no business, really. And because for DJs and for like radio hosts, and of course once I get that's what I'm saying. That for people like on. us, it gives us more exposure because you're the one that's picking us up. Right. But at the same time, it still keeps our followers now following your music because mm -hmm. they know what song it is now. So it's like a win-win situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 About like that. That's why I be hitting that boings. Take that shit, move, okay? Yeah, you gotta have that. Mm -hmm. I don't have that. Yeah. It's fine though. It's totally fine. Yeah, it's yeah. Really, yeah. Totally fine. Yeah. Totally yeah. fine. Like you gotta find this. Place. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. But no, we're gonna get this. Alright, I do appreciate you do coming in. Uh, you're, you more, the you're more than welcome to come back Thank anytime that anytime. you want to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The door is <laughs> open to you for the late night hype. We do appreciate you singing a happy birthday. If you ain't catch the tunes at the beginning, you can go back and rewatch this on the YouTube. Late night hype, midnight YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And that's it for the night. And I'll definitely be back in regards to once my app. I, uh, I didn't mention this, I'm sorry guys, but what I'm dropping, the portrait, is actually my album. It's not even my I kind of figured, oh, I kind of figured that, because you was like, the EP is selfie, like, and then I'm so dropping the portrait. The I'm portrait like, is my album. I love After that, album. we'll have the masterpiece, but the portrait is my album. I knew it was going to be something artsy <laughs> like that. <laughs> like, yeah, because you got selfie. Yeah, you got, got, selfie. Yeah, you yes. got selfie, you got the portrait, so, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'll definitely be back in regards to that for this for the listening party. I definitely have to have y'all coming out. I'm yeah. down. For the listening party, yeah, it'll us be know. a uh, in regards to Corona. It'll Let's, be a masquerade, yeah. and we'll do masks. Say I'm like. down. And so I will commit to the thing. Yeah. Like. We are <laughs> I already got a mask. Yes. We're gonna enjoy. Why do you always stay ready? <laughs> <laughs> because you never know. You know. No, no. I need to That's how my mom is. She be like, no, she go to Walmart and she be like, tomato thing. I'm like, why do you need that? You never because know. Because I don't like, know. Because so somebody. Go and here it is. Exactly. That moment, right. that one so, moment. And I've been waiting. Up, we're going to celebrate the portrait. We're yeah. going to have a great time about Corona with our masks on. Decorative masks. Can I Can I uh, um, shout out a, 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 a title for a project I can see you doing? Yeah, sure. The Campus. 
Thank you. Come on. I would love to take that and even give you like props for it. Don't right? even do it. Like, cause I, oh, I just, and do a music video do. and they're painting your like scenic. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or maybe yes. I can like write a song based off of that for portrait. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Canvas. That'd be dope. Yeah. You find hey. an artist. <laughs> nothing like I appreciate it. No doubt. In the I'm definitely gonna um, yes. give you props. Well, thank you kindly. I'll it's throw you into the, the little bottom part where it's like written by no, like Phil I, Banks I, under there. Yeah. <laughs> Ideas. Nah. <laughs> the title. <laughs> <laughs> he, he did all that. It's all his. <laughs> All right, we no do appreciate shit. you coming out. We about to shut everything I down. Again, guys. tune in to the Late Night Hype. Download the free app at your Google Play Store and your Apple Store. Uh, Grade A Radios to tune in to the Late Night Hype every Tuesday night from midnight to 2 a.m. Where we got great artists like hey. er- Erica a You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's it from me, me from the couch, Empress Black, and your boy, Philip Boyce. <laughs> Yeah, this is yeah.